welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. If you're new here, welcome. The main theme of my channel is adulting in progress, where I take you through things I'm currently going through or things I've already been through and how I'm adulting my way through them. This is going to be part two of my money story, debt confession, journey to be debt free um, video. So in part one, I went over basically my money story, how we got here, growing up, getting my first job, all of those things. Um, make sure you click that link. I'll put it in the cards. It'll also be down in the description box. Um, that That is basically how we got to where we are. Um, I also have a video on my channel talking about how I got myself into $20,000 worth of credit card debt. So you could see the, the, the mistakes of a, of a college student and recent college graduate and person who was in love. You can see that as well. <laughs> So I'll, I'll link both of those up there so y'all can watch those. But right now in this video, we are going to talk about my full debt confession. I have been watching so many budget videos, um, budgeters here on YouTube, debt free videos, and I am a part of this movement and so on board with the movement of taking the stigma out of debt. This is the thing that I believe people can try to make you feel bad for how much money or how much debt you're in, but that's not gonna make the money be any less spent, okay? Like, it, it's, it, it, is, it is what it is. So you actually taking the changes and actually taking the step to make a change in your life, to actually pay off your debt, that is what they're trying to discourage you from and don't let anyone take that away from you because you are trying to do better. You could stay there in the dark with all your debt, or you could come on this journey with so many, there's so many people in the budgeting space on YouTube. Um, you can come on this journey with us and we can get there. We can crush these goals because it's been done before. I've seen multiple people that have paid off multiple, hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt. So you can do it too. No matter how big, no matter how small, you can do it, okay? I wanna start there because my number is high, but I've, but I've been watching a lot of YouTubers and my numbers is not as high as other people. So I'm like, if you feel like how I felt where you're like, oh no, people are going to judge me. Like, don't worry about them because they're probably stuck. Okay. And you are trying to better yourself. So keep that energy. All right. So basically we have a whole new budgeting system in the way that this is going to work. Um, thank you to, I want to just give a huge shout out to the crafty budgeter here on YouTube. She is my favorite budgeting channel. Like, I just don't know. Like there's, find the person that like makes that connection for you. But literally everything she was saying seemed so attainable. She was so relatable. And I was like, oh, you can do this. Like you can do this. So I really want to give a shout out to Brittany of the Cafeteria Budgeter. Honestly, without her, I would probably still be in a downward spiral and getting into debt and being like, where do I go from here? Where do I go from here? Okay, so. I'm gonna pop up on the screen my entire debt breakdown as it currently stands as of January 2022. My goal for this year is to pay off 50% of my debt. Now, when you're looking at this debt on the screen, it is does not include my student loans because I'm currently in school now and so like, and we got the whole forgiveness and then we have the whole Navi and thing. There's a lot of fluctuations in the, in the student loans um, that I don't gotta pay right now. So we gonna focus on the ones that I do gotta pay right now, right now, right now, okay? Also, before we get started, I'm going to be doing the debt snowball method. Um, so that is why these are currently listed from smallest balance to largest balance because that's how we're going to be tackling them. So um, the first one is my Barclays card. Um, that is currently sitting at 886.25 on um, the balance. And the minimum payment is at 122 now just because that is where my debt snowball is currently. Um, that's like the, the roll in from like previous accounts that have been closed. Next is my iPhone. I part started putting this in here because like, yes, it's included in my phone bill, um, but I can reduce my phone bill by like $36 a month if I pay off my phone. <laughs> so we're probably gonna end up doing, that is the plan for that um, after we do the Barclays card. Next is living spaces. Now, remember when I said, um, if you watch my video of how I got here and I was in love, um, yeah, so in my old apartment when I lived with my ex, um, we bought all new furniture. Well, technically this was me. Like, honestly, like I could, I can't really blame him. I wanted all new furniture, but I didn't have the money to buy all new furniture. So then I went to Living Spaces and got a credit card. <laughs> and also when I moved into this place, um, uh, because it was technically paid off, um, 
with my personal loan, which we'll get to later. But um, living spaces, I like when I got to this place, I needed like new bedroom furniture because my old one was bad and terrible and I was gonna have to replace it and it was gonna be broken and all these things. So I bought new bedroom furniture for that um, and a coffee table, I think. And so that was, I bought that back in June. So that's a little less than what it was total. Care credit. Care credit, basically, this is mostly my dentist bills. It's supposed to be for like all medical things. And I still have like some vet bills on here when I, oh, y'all know I used to have dogs. My dogs now live with my ex, yes. Um, full time, basically they lived with me full time, but now they live with him. And so this is that plus my dentist bills. Every other medical I usually have covered, but dogs, pets are expensive. Okay, medical for pets. So that is that. PayPal, you know, it's there. I really can't really explain a lot of my um debt i realize i don't know how the balances get so high this is why i have to change my strategy because my debts are like i just be swiping i just be entering and i didn't and now we're here so there's that um golden one this one i full i take full ownership and responsibility of because i this um this uh limit used to be $500 and then they increased it um it's, it's another one that I was just I was just swiping and I thought like I had it under control I didn't I did not but and then we have our capital one which is the last credit card that we have um $7,932 now a lot of these things another thing like I said I don't, like I just be swiping and I really don't know why but also interest these interest rates are insane these interest rates are insane so like you think that you're only spending so much but then if you don't pay that off baby it's just gonna grow and grow and grow and grow and grow um so because some of these were paid off with my personal loan um but we have since run them right back up so we're that's why we're changing the strategy because i i can't do this anymore and then i have a car i have a buick encore that i a 20 2017 2018 one or the other it's either 2017 or 2018 i don't remember um buick encore that i bought two years ago 20 no mm, yes <laughs> i bought it in july and I was here in this past July, so 2020. Yeah, I bought uh, a Buick Encore. Um, and that is what we have left remaining on that. And then this is the personal loan that I basically took out to pay off this debt. And um, back in September of 2020, I think. Um, and we are back up like i said we're changing the strategy it's, it's it's fine it's fine um and so that brings my grand total of where we are starting out on 2022 um it's fifty four thousand five hundred eighty one dollars and 42 cents that is a big number it is and like where my where my student loans currently stand like for my bachelor's and then like the loans that i have taken out are about forty thousand. so i have like ninety thousand total debt um but like I said, we're gonna focus on this one first and then we will <sighs> tackle the student loans after this. Um, yes, this is the thing. This is a very vulnerable space, I understand, for a lot of people, for all the people who are probably watching this video, like I can never get out of debt and I am drowning. This is a very vulnerable space. But like I said, the money's already been spent. So you could like sit here in the comments and tell me that I'm financially irresponsible. Like, yes, I know, that's how we got here. That's why we're changing. That's why this video is happening. So you keep your comments to yourself unless they're going to be encouraging. But if you're just gonna tell me that I'm in debt, like, thank you, I know, have a great day. Um, these are also all of the minimum payments um, as they currently sit. Um, and then, so basically this is the amount of money that I put to debt every month. Do you see that number? That number makes me more upset than the total debt number. That number? Do you know what I could do with that money every month? It's fine. It's fine. Okay. So, my goal, like I said, is to pay off 50% of my debt this year. Therefore, my lofty goal is to be debt-free, other than my student loans, by 30. 
I turn 28 this year, so that gives me two years from next month um, to pay off this debt. And honestly, I think I could do it. I didn't think I could do it, but then I would, like I said, I watch Crafty Budgeter now. If you want to see, she got her family's in over six figures, was over was in six figures of debt, and she has made such a large dent. I'm not going to give her story away because baby, go subscribe to the channel. It is the most inspiring thing for me. Um, that I'm like, I can do this. I already know I can do this. I already know I can do this. Okay, so that is my full debt breakdown. Like I said, it's gonna be in three parts. So now that we've talked about where we started, now that we see where we are, we are going to have, the next video is going to be covering where we are going, how I'm changing the strategy. Cause like I said, what I've been doing got us here. So we have to change what we've been doing in order to change the mentality, the mindset and get us out of debt. So if you want to see that, stay tuned for the next video, part three. Like I said, whatever day this goes up, it's going to be the next day because I'm going to film all in one day. So it's going to be the same outfit. It's going to be the same position. I just don't want y'all to be here for what's now looking like 30 to 45 minutes total. So we're just going to break it up a little bit um, and go from there. But I hope you enjoyed and I really want, I hope that you are encouraged because you can start from anywhere okay do not let people shame you into staying in debt you can do this okay you can do it it's going to happen and i hope that you enjoy coming on this journey with me because we're gonna do it i'm gonna do it okay debt three by 30 all of these fifty-four thousand dollars will be paid off by the time i'm 30 which is 2024 so if you want to see that journey just stay tuned we will see you in part three now there's going to be a video on one of these sides i don't know which one it is but it is going to have my most recent upload and then it is going to have a recommendation from youtube so if you want to if you enjoy this content you know if you want to see more of my face <laughs> you can click on one of those um and we will see you in the next one okay bye beautiful people